at Parker Schnabel's Yukon operation, his right-hand man, Mitch Blaschke, is trying to achieve the impossible. Mine out a record-breaking 90 acres of ground in just one season. It uh, starts getting scary when you think about how much we got to sluice here and, and how close to the end of the season we are. Parker's crew has already sluiced out 60 of the 90-acre airstrip hauling in nearly five and a half thousand ounces of gold. Now, Slucifer is two thirds of the way through the payback cut, while Big Red has just started to churn through the massive 24 acre runway cut. This is a giant cut. We're taking over twice the amount of material that we'd normally be sending to the wash plant really hard on Big Red. We're down here in runway cut. Pay is kind of split half and half wet and dry. Feeding pay dirt to Big Red is new hire, 25-year-old Liam Pukila. This rainy weather that we've had and these foggy mornings aren't doing us any favors and drying out our material either. So we're just working with what we got right now. Hey, Mitch, these grizzly bars are acting up and sitting sideways. You think come take a look? Yeah, man, I'll be right back. No more dirt, no more dirt. We gotta shut it down here. That thing is ready just to peel right off there. Now we've gotta shut the plant down. Our grizzly bars are the only thing that protect it. And uh, well, they're about ready to leave that hopper feeder. Yeah, we got a major problem there. Hey, Ty, you got a copy, Ty? Yeah, go for Ty. Hey, man, I need you down here at Big Red right away. We got some big issues with our grizzly bars. On the runway cut, Mitch has been forced to shut down Big Red. Last thing we want to do is have these grizzly bars snap off. It's our only protection to keep all the big rocks from going through our wash plant. I got Ty on his way down here right now. Let's see what we can do to get him fixed. The grizzly bars on the hopper feeder are too beat up to continue operating. Oh, yeah. Buddy, she's busted up pretty good. Yeah, it looks like we've ripped some stuff apart. 100% it did. She'd be broke. Yeah. Pretty crazy the punishment this thing's been through. I mean, you look at all those big rocks getting dropped on it 24 hours a day, yeah. and eventually something had to give. Yep. Yeah. We'll just have to see what we can do to get it pulled back down, weld it back up plate it up however we can here and we'll do what we can. The hydraulic grizzly bars stop large boulders from getting into and damaging the wash plant. But after five months heavy use, the frame holding the bars has bent out of shape and a hinge has ripped off the hopper. The quick fix, bend the frame back down and reattach the hinge bracket to the wash plant. Then, weld a plate on to try and hold it in place. Mitch is just hoping that I fix us in time. It's just going to take as long as it's going to take. This is definitely not ideal. After six hours. Job done. That ain't pretty. Ty has finished repairing Big Red's grizzly bars. We're firing up. Should be good for the rest of the year. We hope. We got to make a change here. So the only thing we can do to really make that work, probably slow the feed rate down. We're going to send some of this material to Lucifer and run that wash plant at max capacity. 
He's kind of in a tough spot, running some of that material down to Slucifer. It's expensive, it's time consuming, it's hard on people, but we don't sluice it, we lose it. So right now it looks like that's our only option. Hi guys. So how have you guys been? Good man. Things going okay? It was uh, an interesting week. We had a rock truck almost land on the water. He was driving down the road trying to eat a sandwich or whatever. And he's like, man, next thing I know is off the road. I'm like, right. well, at least thank you. You didn't tell me that you saw a moose and you swerved off the road. Like <laughs> so many other people do. I'm like, at least you're honest. There's a lot to be said for that. People don't realize that they're driving around a big machine, you know, it's like, those trucks are not small. Yeah. Exactly. Overall, it's going okay, though? Yeah, we're gaining on it. Good. Want to see? Well, the gold shows. So far, Parker's Yukon crew have mined 60 acres, delivering 5,372 ounces. So this is Big Red down on the runway. Now the crew are eager to see how much Big Red can add to the total despite running at a reduced speed. 70, 80, 100, 130, 160, 170, 200, 220, 250, 270, 277.3. Not bad. Not a bad run. That's good. Bad at Especially all. turned down. Yeah. I like seeing that. But anyway, come here, T. This was Lucifer. Let's see what she did. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 220, 260, 280, 300. There we go. 320, 330, 342.8. I think wants some hot ground. Sending the extra pay from Big Red to Slucifer has paid off, giving a combined total of 620 ounces worth $1 million. That gives us a season total of $59.91. That's a hell of a cleanup there. And um, thank you guys for taking care of this place and letting me roam. Thank you for trusting us.